new form of vetting and barring for volunteers. <laughs> well, across the board for people working, volunteering, with children or vulnerable adults. It's meant to be coming out in uh, this autumn, and I was really concerned because, well, apart from anything else, I was concerned because it was a government project involved IT, task yeah. agency. <laughs> um, but I was more concerned because it was quite clear that when I'm going out and talking to people, lots of groups still didn't even know about a new form of vetting and barring coming in, um, didn't really understand how it might affect them, what it would mean, how things would change. You know, was there an alternative to CRB? Someone asked me yesterday, you know, we, can we choose between the two? How does it work? Things will be, there will be a big shake up. Um, the history behind this is that after the solar murders, so there was an inquiry set up to look at issues around vetting and barring. Um, recommendation 19 from this inquiry, and there's a Bishard inquiry, was that there'd be a centralised register of people working with children and vulnerable adults. Now, it would be compulsory. At the moment, most organisations who are checking for volunteers, they're not actually legally obliged to do so in terms of a piece of legislation. It's part of their duty of care. But this system would be compulsory. It would be updatable so that you'd be aware if uh, anything happens in terms of uh, your volunteers or paid members of staff, change the status so the new evidence can come up about previous activities and so on. Also, hopefully speed things up. You know, at the moment, you've got an issue where someone could have been checked three weeks ago, go somewhere else to volunteer, and they wait six weeks for a new check to come through. Let's say it's been put back to October. The way it will work is that there'll be a centralised register. So, have a new person coming into the scheme. First step would actually be a CRB check, um, an enhanced check. If anything comes up on that check, if there aren't any of the list of people considered unsuitable for that work, previous convictions, well, that information would go to this new body, Independent Safeguarding Authority. They'll make a decision as to whether or not a person is fit or unfit to be working with children or vulnerable adults. A person would now be on the register. What that means is, if they go somewhere else to volunteer or work, an individual ID number, that body can check instantly, find out whether they've been barred or they're considered fit to be working in that setting. It also means that if something does come up, the Independent Safeguarding Authority will immediately inform any organisation that person is working or volunteering with. So, potentially lots of benefits there for organisations. But it does mean that now you may be under a legal duty to carry out checks, whereas before it was sent down to duty of care. Um, regulated activities are the ones where there's the legal obligation to check, and the bar would be mandatory, so it wouldn't be a crime to take on a bar person. The main issue here is for volunteer involved organisations is where someone is frequently or intensively uh, working directly with children or vulnerable adults. So if they're caring for, training, supervising, providing advice, which is something which was left out actually of some of the issues around the CRB, so some of the loopholes there have been tightened. For some bodies, um, such as social services departments, they have some roles where the mandatory check, but the bar won't be mandatory. Which always seems a bit superfluous to me, because I can't imagine the organisation knowing someone who's actually barred from working with children or vulnerable adults, it's still taking them on. Even though they've not got direct contact, they still have access to records and so on. So, do be aware of this change. Make sure that um, you keep up to date with what's going on. There's still information that needs to come out. Um, it will be rolled out bit by bit. You need to be aware then of your responsibilities as to who you do need to be checking from um, October next year.